Hello? <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, anyway, I've arrived. Yes. Alright. Sonic Adventure DX. We're probably going to finish it tonight. Yeah. Uh, probably? Yeah. I'm expecting to, anyway. Planning on that. Uh, so let's hope that it goes well. Would have missed the stream if it wasn't for the new time. Also, the waiting screens you fixed. Yep. Uh, hope you're doing well with the new schedule. Can't tell if you did this on purpose or not, but the T in wait and PG in preparing clip at the top. Hmm. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, the white around it is a little weird looking. Yeah, I will need to... I probably need to... There's a lot of things that I probably need to go in, in and fix, but, uh, you know, we're sort of, uh... We're figuring it out as we go. But yes, I did, uh... I did go in and I fixed the, uh... I fixed the, uh, the seam. But, uh, I probably should have fixed a few more things, I suppose. Yes, hello, hello, Lightning Spirit. How are you doing tonight? Yeah, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit late starting up the stream today, because, uh, because, yeah, normally I plan around having dinner, uh, having eaten dinner by around 6, 6.30, but, uh, today I, uh, dinner wasn't ready until 6.30, so we're, yeah, we're about, um, about 10 minutes late here. Yeah, uh, and yeah, if I sound a little bit different, it's because my, uh, my allergies are acting up a little bit. They've been acting up, uh, recently. So, uh, yeah. My eyes are a little bit itchy, my throat's a little bit scratchy, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's cool, but it seems the VTuber mouth is slightly delayed. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's... actually, let's, uh... I don't know that I calibrated my, uh, my model correctly, so give me a second here. Whoops. Yeah, I was in a little bit of a hurry, so I might have uh, not given it the time it quite needed. Yeah, I'll, I'll recalibrate real quick. Alright, so we should be... Should be a little bit better now. Oops. There we go. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me turn on my desk lamp. That'll also help. All right. So it should be should be capturing a little bit better now. All right. So yeah. So let's see. What else? Uh, oh yeah. So schedule tomorrow. 7 p.m. Nah, 7 p.m. Central to uh, 9 p.m. Central. We'll be playing uh, Toho again. Yeah, a lot better. Good, good. Yeah, it looked. Uh, it looked. Uh, again, I was in a, a little bit of a hurry, so I probably should have uh, spent a little bit more time uh, calibrating. But um, or I should have calibrated it at all. Really, I just sort of didn't. Was the issue. So yeah. So tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central, we'll be playing Toho. We'll be playing uh, Toho. Wily Beast and Weakest Creature. I think that every time, every time, I, I have no confidence that I'm saying the title correctly. And I'm not going to check this time because we're in a hurry. But, uh, you know, the Toho game that we've been playing is the game that I'm going to play tomorrow. <laughs> whatever whatever it may be called. Um, other than that, uh, or, uh, yeah, and on Friday, we'll be playing our new game because we're almost certainly going to beat uh, Sonic Adventure tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to go a little bit late, uh, 30 minutes to an hour late if I need to, in order to beat Sonic Adventure tonight. I don't suspect that I will need, I will need to, because, um, yeah, because we already did a little bit of Gamma's story, uh, on, uh, Monday. So we're all, we're already, like, I think one or two stages in to Gamma's story. So we should be able to wrap that up pretty easily and then get the, uh, the end game. Uh, then yeah, so on Friday, we'll be starting our new game, an RPG, like I mentioned. Uh, we'll be playing, what was it? What did I say I was going to play? Or what did I decide I was going to play? Uh, oh yeah, Nino Kuni. We, uh, pardon. <coughs> yes, we'll be playing, uh, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, on Nintendo Switch. And, I don't know why I was going to, <laughs> I was trying to, like, reach for my copy of it which is out of arm's reach anyway, so I couldn't have grabbed it if I wanted to. 
as if I was going to show it, but uh, that is uh, not an option, <laughs> unfortunately. But uh, but yeah. Actually, hold on. Is it on? Yeah, it's not even on my shelf. Hmm. I need to find that. <laughs> if I'm gonna play that game, I need to you know find it. So um, actually, do I have the Switch version or do I have the PS4 version? I can't remember now. <laughs> Hold on. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll check later. <laughs> uh, yeah, because tonight is Sonic night. I was about to say we're not going to be playing a Sonic tonight, but uh, we might just be playing Sonic tonight. Yeah, content is really good. You're just a, a little joke. Uh, a little... Not a little underrated and uh, and uh, definitely deserve more views. Massive head glitch. Yeah, that's because I was like leaning, leaning, yeah, all sorts of weird to try and get a better look at my uh, my shelf because I I can't remember. <laughs> I've yeah, it's been a while since I got Nino Kuni. I got it for like Christmas. Um, I think like a not like the the year before this this year, I think. So it's been a very long time that I've had it and not played it, and I thought I had it for Switch, but I'm, I think I'm misremembering, because I think, yeah, I've got Final Fantasy XII for Switch, and I think I have Nino Kuni for PS4, is the thing. I thought I had them both for Switch, but um, we'll see, we'll see what happens uh, on Friday, I guess. We'll see what game, we'll see what version of the game I have. Uh, so yeah, then, so yeah, going forward. Uh, Nino Kuni is going to be our sort of focused game, so we're going to be playing that uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And of course, we'll be continuing on with just sort of the, um, you know, whatever whatever content uh, whatever content I feel like making on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, so let's not waste any more time here. Let's get straight into the game. Yeah, I also, uh, I don't know if you were here yesterday, but uh, yeah, I put in a little box, that's for info, uh, probably going to put more info there at the moment, or uh, in the future. At, at present, the only thing that I could think of was to put links to uh, my Bandcamp and my uh, Twitter. Yeah, that's in a little scrolling banner. I wanted to put in like an activity feed, but I couldn't get the widget to work properly with... Uh, like the widget uh, that uh, comes with OBS doesn't, uh, it can't, uh, like you can see here, it doesn't really have, or, or uh, you know, this box here doesn't have room for much, uh, you know, horizontal or uh, much vertical room. It doesn't have a whole lot of vertical room. So uh, I wouldn't be able to use the, uh, the standard sort of uh, uh, event list because uh, that is a uh, vertical. And I've, Pardon me again. Ugh. And yeah, I found a uh, some some code that uh, was supposed to make it like a, someone made like a custom version of it uh, that was supposed to be like horizontal, and it was, but it was also the text like the text box scaled weird, and the text itself scaled weird such that you couldn't actually read anything, uh, which is undesirable. So yeah. So there was that, and uh, there is, you know, there was a sort of a more professional one that I found, but it was like $8. So, I don't know, I guess I might, I might go ahead and get that one of these days, but, uh, you know, not, uh, yeah, I might do that. I might get that if I, if I feel so inclined, but for right now, this box is just uh, where I advertise myself, I guess. All right, so yeah. I think that should cover everything. Um, yeah. So yeah, let's get started with Sonic Adventure. Oh, and I got a... I forgot. I was uh, testing something out, so I don't think the... Uh, yeah, it's not set to capture the uh, Sonic Adventure DX at the moment. All right, is the game capture capturing properly? Not popping up yet. Oh, there we go. Very nice. I'm bumping my microphone cord. Oh dear. All right. So we should be should be good now. 
And so yeah, you'll have to you'll have to let me know uh, what you think of the uh, the audio balancing because I was yesterday I was watching the uh, I watched a little bit of the VOD from uh, let me adjust my microphone here. Yeah, I was watching a little bit of the VOD from uh, yesterday's stream, and I noticed the game was a little bit quiet uh, compared to me. And I'm not sure if that was the uh, my microphone settings, or if it was just uh, an issue with uh, if I just needed to turn the game audio up, basically. Yes, preparations are complete. Ah, and this is the this is the first time we've, we're seeing one of these. We've uh, completed every other story, like in one sitting. So we never got to see any of these. Because yeah, each character has like several sort of text scrolls here. Like uh describing sort of where they are where they're at in the story. And we've uh just not seen any of those. But yeah, so now we've got to go and get uh the bird from Amy. Not in this cell. That egg is in prison, but she, but Amy is not in that cell. No. I apologize, but I, I must take this bird from you. Fair enough, I guess. I want to know why you want to know why I want it. Amy's dress is kind of clipping with her hands there. Not anymore. That was weird. I also love how uh, Gamma just sort of like violently gyrates when he's speaking. Like he just shakes faster. All right, the bird, the bird has given, given itself to us. So our mission is complete, obviously. But we've learned a lesson here today. These are some big switches. I wonder if, like, is Eggman even capable of, like, pressing these switches, I wonder? I guess he's really not, um... Ah, oh, nice. We've made a friend. But yeah, like, you know, Eggman is not necessarily a getting things done himself type of guy. Uh, not even, not in the slightest. But, uh, but yeah, it's interesting how, uh, and we're going to free this egg also, since it was also in prison. We're going to pick up this egg. Here's Eggman again. Cool. Got it. Well, first I need to free this egg. So yeah, so I need to, uh, I don't remember, is it this? I think this is it. Or, hold on. Let me just put down real quick.
Ah, okay. E, G, nope, G, G, M, M, there we go, A, N, nope, N, Eggman. Can you spell Eggman? Can you spell egg? <laughs> yeah, I was saying, uh, Eggman is very much not the sort of person who, uh, and we'll give this egg a little vacation. Good enough. Yeah, Eggman is definitely not a do things himself sort of person. He's definitely a send robots to do it type of person. But, uh, even so, it is a little bit, um, it's interesting to see how, like, his own jail cell that he built is not is not necessarily like accessible to him, or at least uh, he can't open the cells. Granted, I don't imagine that he'd necessarily want to again. Let's see. Reservoir. Let's see what's in here. I can't remember what this room is, or if it has any significance. Hmm. Well, there's something down there. Another upgrade, I guess. Hmm. Oh yeah, and Eggman also has these little, these little scuddly robots going around. I don't know what they're, what they are, or what they do. There's like the, there's the cleaning robots down on the bottom floor, but these scuttling robots don't seem to have any particular purpose to them. There we go. This is the ammunition room. Yeah, it's interesting. Nice. But yeah, I like that. Uh, I like that the jet booster provides lift, but is not attached to me in any way. Ooh, I also, I never noticed, but it makes a noise, or it makes a sort of a whining noise. I knew it made sort of a puff, puff of air sound. But I didn't know it made sort of that uh, that higher pitch noise. I sure do. All right. Yeah. Where do we? No. Yeah. We have to go up. Uh, go up through this uh, this little elevator type of thing. Because yeah, that'll take us up. To where we will fight Sonic. Huh. And yeah, my eyes are really itchy. I need to get some more eye drops soon. Eradicate! <laughs> I like all the little detailing on uh on Gamma's textures there. Ooh, I didn't know that uh, he could sort of deflect my shots when he's uh homing when he's or when he's doing his spin dash. Anyway, that was easy. <laughs> oh no, indeed. Yeah, all the <clears throat> all the scenes are a little bit different based on which character you're playing. But yeah, hope you don't feel offended in any way. Hmm? Oh, hold on, I forgot. I just realized that I. Forgot to turn the game audio on, I think. Yep. Whoops. Ah, your message didn't come through? Oh. Yeah, what were you what were you saying then? Amy. Oh, I really don't get this.
Yeah. Give you a sec. All right. We've got a split. Take Amy and go. Now I just realized. I'll nail that Eggman. He must be stopped at all costs. I just realized there's no real reason for the egg carrier to be collapsing at this point, is there? There's like nobody. Nobody like did anything to it. Nobody like blew up the reactor or anything. Nah. Why do you help me? I told you we'd be friends the next time we met. Even Birdie wants the best for you. You must That's ditch nice. that awful egg man. I must you ditch that awful egg man. Not should. Must. I think it looks like my microphone's speaking just a little bit, maybe. I was gonna say this uh all of the scenes that are sort of shared between characters. Uh I don't wanna interrupt this this cutscene. It's important for, for Gamma's uh, emotional character development. Reflecting on his life up until now. So yeah, this is probably part of the reason why the game has the epilepsy warning. Enemy. Master registration deleted. E series. Friends. Must save. But yeah. Um. Oh no. What was I saying? But yeah. So the the egg carrier doesn't really have any reason to be collapsing or to be falling because nobody like damaged it. I don't think. What do you have to say? Do you have anything to say? Uh, oh, there we go. Stone of wind. Gusts of strong winds are known to blow in the caves. All right. But yeah, like the egg carrier doesn't um, doesn't really sustain any damage. I don't think. I guess it does. I think you can you do a little bit of damage to it as Sonic, but it didn't seem to be that severe. Um, and I think I was going to say something else there, but I've I've forgotten. I know I said something about I was going to pick up uh, eye drops. Oh yeah, and one more thing while I'm here. Actually, can I do this as a... Uh, oh, right, I remember what I was going to say now, but let's see if I can do this as Gavin first. Hmm. Actually, that's not what I have to interact with, is it? This is. There we go. Because yeah, this will give us another egg. And also a, a very noisy waterfall that we're standing next to. Whoops. Oh yeah, so yeah, so what I was going to say while uh, Gamma was uh, escaping the egg carrier uh, is that um, it's it's a little bit odd to me now, uh, looking at it, that the, the game doesn't like involve the jet booster in any way in that cutscene. Like he just sort of flies by going into his like hover mode. Because yeah, it feels like the, you know, since the whole point of the jet booster is fall slower, that that would be relevant to that scene. But uh, it just sort of isn't. Uh, can I not pick this up as Gamma? I might not be able to pick up this egg because I don't get low enough to the ground. I don't get close enough to the water. Hmm. Well, I was hoping to get all the... to grab all the eggs. Here. But, nope. Yeah, it seems like not. That's a shame. Well, that was just a, a little whim of mine, so I guess we'll, we won't worry about it. Off to Windy Valley. <coughs> Destroy E-103. Because, yeah, now we must, uh, we must save our, our, uh, our, oh dear. Uh, can we recover from this? Hmm, maybe. Ooh, the camera doesn't like doesn't like what I'm doing here. Um, all right, we can't recover from this. Unfortunate. 
So yes, we must save our uh, our fellow E series robots from uh, <coughs> being enslaved by Eggman uh, by destroying them. Very unfortunate situation for them, but they'll be they'll die free, I guess. Or well, I don't know that they'll die free necessarily, but they'll they won't be they won't be working for Eggman anymore. I guess. At the very minimum, they won't be working for Eggman anymore. Gamma has a... perhaps a, an unconventional, we'll say, um, view of the term uh, of what it means to free someone. But, the um... You're looking for is up ahead. Thank you. He freed... He freed Amy pretty well. He freed uh, Amy and the bird pretty well. Yeah, no, no destroying them, so... I guess the mission of, uh, oh, oh, I just realized, I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know what the Greek characters, what Greek character this is. I think this might be Sigma? Yeah, E-103 Sigma, I think, perhaps? I should check that, hold on. Whoops. E103 Delta. Oh, Rescue Delta. Complete. Oh right, I should know what I should know what Delta looks like. I have like some Delta Delta species Pokemon cards. I should know what Delta looks like. I don't know why I thought it was Sigma. I don't know what Sigma looks like, come to think of it. I just thought that looked like Sigma for whatever reason. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, right. Not not at all. Yeah, Sigma looks super different. Hmm. Maybe the maybe the egg. I don't know. The egg probably reset position a bit there. Hmm. No, it's still there, but uh, it's still equally unobtainable. Hmm. Can I like? glitch this somehow to pick it up as, as Gamma. Hmm. Perhaps not. Alright. Well, it seems that our, our all egg, our all eggs speedrun has, uh, has failed. Not enough, uh, not enough routing. Yeah, next we are off to, I believe, uh, Red Mountain, I think. That should be where the next, uh, E-Series robot is. Yeah. Does want to work? Oh, is the is the Twitch chat uh, acting up a little bit or something like that? I probably could have uh, probably could have uh, just run over that bump and not had to jump over it. I don't know if I'm actually any faster in uh, my sort of rolling mode here. Let's see, is this... When Knuckles... Did Knuckles have the uh, Twitch chat as a little upsidey spaghetti? Ah, that's unfortunate. Oh, hold on a moment. Pardon the interruption there. Let's go see the Master Emerald. It looks like... Oh, nope, it's still damaged. That's unfortunate. I guess Knuckles hasn't finished his quest yet. Oh, right, yeah. Another thing that I was going to say. Uh, back while we were still on the Egg Carrier was... Um, that, uh, you know, every sort of cutscene that is shared between characters... You don't even need the Monkey Destruction Switch. Very nice. Um, every single cutscene that's like shared between characters is um, E104. Hmm, which one's E104 then, I wonder? I guess, you know, it would. It makes sense that it would be following the, you know, the. Uh, the, uh, the pattern of the uh, Greek alphabet, because they have Greek uh, alphabet characters. 
because uh, we started out with E101 uh, Gamma or E101 or E101 Beta, then Gamma, Delta, Sigma. Uh, or wait, did I just say Sigma? I think I might. I think I don't think Sigma is actually the like. What would it be? Fourth? Yeah. Fifth? Wait, hold on. Yeah, Delta. Delta would be four. Is Alpha, Beta, Gamma. That Delta. I want to say Sigma, but I think that's just because it's the only other, like, I know Sigma and Kai, and like, I think those are the only, <laughs> those are the only other Greek characters that I know of offhand. Yeah, I was just taking a look at your band camp, I have to say, really good, but if I could make a suggestion, uh, don't have so many instruments, sounds cluttered, but I could feel how through the songs it got calmer as you were able to remove that cluttered feeling, but through your description, I can't tell if this was intentional or not, uh, I give this advice as I had a little experience experience in the field of expertise. I had to shorten it. All right. Yeah. But yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was intentional on uh, a certain level to make this sort of give it the sense of, uh, sort of, uh, becoming calmer and, uh, more settled throughout the, uh, throughout the progression of the, uh, album. But, uh, you know, part of it, part of it just probably comes from the fact that, uh, you know, I'm a pretty, you know, I'm a pretty, you know, new, I don't know, new, but, um, I'm a, you know, I'm a self-taught uh, composer. I'm a self-taught composer. I'm self-taught. Uh, I'm not entirely self-taught in terms of like uh, music theory, but uh, I don't have uh, a very in-depth. Um, I don't have very in-depth experience with it because I only took. Uh, I took like a one semester college course, and that's uh, that I did really bad in. <laughs> to be to be to be totally honest with you, like, I I literally could not answer a single question. <laughs> on my music theory final <laughs> like i just walked in and i looked at my I test paper and i was just like yeah and i just uh and i just turned it in and i just uh i just walked out <laughs> uh but yeah i did really badly in that class so you know part of it is intentional but part of it part of it is is um you know a lot of the mistakes hmm Epsilon, actually. That's I think that's Epsilon. Because like it looks like an E. And uh Epsilon I think that would be That's what that's what my mind is telling me. But uh but yeah. Um but yeah, so a lot of the music, a lot of the you know, if you notice issues in my music, a lot of it is just uh not going to lie, I haven't taken that class. I might though. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of it just stems from the fact that I am largely self-taught and sort of uh, figuring things out as I go. Yeah, in the future. Huh. But yeah, not to, uh, you know, I don't want to seem like I'm trying to make excuses here, but, uh, you know, part of it, part of it is that I uh, just, you know, everybody, everybody gets better with time. E104 News Epsilon. Epsilon. Okay. Rescue mission accomplished. Pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, I really. E105 Zeta. E101 Beta. Yeah, doesn't mean it's Location bad though. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, if I, if I wasn't con confident that it was good, I, I wouldn't have released it. It's definitely, Perhaps um, yeah, it's a little bit rough. You know, that's all I'm saying. It's a little bit rough because I'm not, uh, I'm not myself super polished. You know. That's, and that's just how it goes. That's just part of the learning process. And, uh, but yeah, I sort of, uh, you know, I just, um, I felt like I needed to, uh, to release that al album. I felt like, uh, if I, you know, just, uh, it just felt essential to me to, uh, to, to just put together an EP and, you know, sort of express myself, a bit, you know, you know, how, uh, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's what you do with music. But, um. But yeah, I hope to, uh, you know, continue my sort of uh, journey as a, as a musician. Uh, ooh, this is... Is this different music than usual? I mean, it's definitely different from usual. Have we heard this area theme before? Or this, this music? I don't know if this is an area theme. Have we heard this music before? Yeah, now this autocorrect is making me upset spaghetti because of my autocorrects monkey to monkey and though to vo and sus to sus and a few others. Yeah. 
Yeah. I know. I I I just straight up have turned off autocorrect on my phone entirely. I just I just uh, am not able to deal with it. All right, not not here. We need to go to hot shelter. And we gotta call the tram. Oh, and we're gonna get stuck in the tram a little bit there. But uh, but yeah. Uh, I hope to uh, to sort of continue my journey as a as a musical artist, um, alongside my my sort of journey as a streamer. I want to do some some like perhaps music um, music making streams. You know, I also want to do art streams and all that. Ah, okay. I was thinking I might have to do something to uh, to drain this, but I guess we've just got the upgrade. We now have Use triple your gun. Laser blaster. Ooh, laser it blaster. Blast damages enemies in a wide pattern. Very nice. But yeah, so uh, I don't have any immediate plans for that. I've sort of been, uh, yeah, one thing I've been doing is I've, uh, I've actually gone and, uh, <clears throat> I've gone back and uh, I was, I've been reading over again, sort of my, uh, my, uh, my music theory textbook that I have. I've been reading that again and uh, sort of trying to, uh, to get you know more out of it than I did uh, last time, basically, because yeah, like um, I don't, I don't really, um, I don't, I can't really account for why I did so badly in that class, or at least uh, why I, why I had so much trouble, like absorbing information, because uh, you know I did pretty well in college. I, I don't want to brag, but I did pretty well in college. And uh, my teacher was was really good. He was very good. He he was passionate about his work, and he worked really hard with us, uh, as both me individually and us as a class, uh, to uh, you know make sure that we really understood you know what we were what we were going through uh, as best to, as best as he could. So um, yeah, I don't know. Might have just been a mix of circumstances. I had a lot. Uh, that was a pretty rough semester for me in general because I was taking like a lot of classes in uh, in uh, various um, subjects that I sort of wasn't familiar with. So it might just be that um, you know it just sort of hit me at a bad time. The class did, so I wasn't able to uh, make as much of it as I as I might have liked. Because yeah, I definitely now that I've sort of been out of college for a while and. Uh, I've actually found it a lot easier to uh, to sort of uh, you know go through my uh, my t the uh, the text and sort of study it again and think oh oh I it makes it makes a lot more sense now why didn't I why didn't I realize that at the time why did I uh, like uh, yeah you know that sort of stuff um, it's, I think this should let me I hope this will let me get up here I, hold on where do I need to go. <laughs> Do I need to go... There's this gear here that's moving, which implies that I need to do something over that way, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, what's, uh, what's with this door? Is it maybe just... Do I just need to, like... Oh. I just needed to get closer to it. <laughs> uh... Whoops. But, uh, but yeah, so it's... Yeah, I've definitely... I don't know, I guess, I think a, a lot of it is just, uh, yeah, I was just having a bit of a rough semester in general, uh, then. So I think that was, that's just the main issue. Because, you know, I never want to blame my teacher, because he was, he was, again, he, he, he did very well. He did very well, and he really did help me a lot. If I... If I had, if I had had a worse teacher, I probably would have, I probably wouldn't have made it at all. I probably would not have made it halfway through the, the, the course, and I probably wouldn't have not have made it halfway through the course. Those final moments, those finals moments, I should say. Not final moments, oh dear. I sure hope my, my final, my final moments aren't taking a college test. That would be unfortunate. But, uh, those finals moments. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I guess part of it is I just kind of don't test well also. 
Like, I can do projects. I like doing projects, but, like, tests. I never liked tests. I never did well in tests. Whoop, and I've just fallen. Oh dear. But yeah. Yeah, like I like I said, I I I just kinda don't test well is part of my issue. What is this? Activate. Ah, it probably calls in a an arm, doesn't it? Oh, okay. So we need to uh to press it from over here, I suppose. Ooh, we're uh low on low on time. We've only got like twenty seconds to complete this mission. <laughs> oh dear. And the time keeps ticking when I don't have control of my character. That's unfortunate. Uh oh. This is bad. Uh, monkeys, please die. Mm, this is this is very unfortunate. Uh oh. All right, we're. We're making it. We're making it. Mm, all right, we need to go over here. Ooh, okay, so this is going to take us closer. All right. We need to get bigger combos, I think. It's part of the issue. Okay, so we made it through that that part. Uh, let's see how much further I can make it. Ah, okay. So we've got we've got a checkpoint. So we should be able to you know start again. Uh, if necessary, with uh, some more time. Uh oh, come on. Destroy these monkeys, please. Destroy these monkeys like your life depends on it, because it does. Alright, not bad, not bad. Four monkeys down. Ah, did you know the sonic ring sound effect was created in the Milky Way? Mm, I did not. Mm, mm, this is very unfortunate. Because, yeah, we cannot get any more time from shooting those down, it looks like. But we've got another, we got another minute to, to try it. But yeah, I did not know the, uh, the uh, sound effect was created in the Milky Way. Uh, what do you mean? What do you, um... How did that happen, basically, I guess? I mean, I guess... If you want to be... or Well, actually, no. Never mind. Or, um... Yeah. Like, uh... How do I... How do I damage, uh... Oh, what's... What was his... What was his character? Uh, he's 105. I... Oh! Okay. Uh, we just beat him. Alright, that was easier than I thought. <laughs> yeah, Milky Way is the galaxy we're in, so... Ah! I thought so! I thought that that was a trick question. I thought that that was a trick question, but I thought... Mm, I'm probably reading into it too much. Yeah, I, 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 I thought that that was a trick question, but I thought... No, uh, they probably mean... They probably meant, like, somewhere, like... Like, uh... Like, it, maybe it was derived from, like, cosmic radiation or something like that, in some way. But yeah, no, you, you got me there, Lightning Spirit. You got me there. That was clever. E Zeta, Zeta, there we go. Units remaining. Just the one. Or two, I suppose. Counting ourselves. Yama. And there he is, our big brother. Beta. All right, it's time for the emotional showdown. The final battle. Well, not the final battle, but you know, the final battle against the. Uh, for us. E101 Mark II.
All right. So yeah, we need to uh, wait for him to do his uh, attacks and then be vulnerable, I believe, just because he, uh, he's quite good at dodging. Uh, yeah, he's good at dodging and he can deflect shots. I didn't remember, I forgot that part. Yeah, so you've really got to be uh, on him. Yeah, I gotta say, I really, I really like saxophones in music. I, so I like, uh, I like the, I like the that they use the those a lot in the uh, music related to uh, gamma here. Yep, dude. My brother's on his last legs. We'll all be free. All right. Oh no, we could not run the explosion. Oh dear. Hmm. All right, should be one or two more shots. Ah, but we didn't we didn't get the chance to take them because we uh, let those missiles catch up to us. Ah, actually, one thing that I can one thing that I should keep in mind is I can cancel his uh, missile shooting by uh, forcing him to dodge or deflect. Alright, so if we go around the outside and don't get caught on the uh, the level geometry, we should be able to uh, yeah dodge these pretty easily. Because yeah, you do go a little bit faster once you've uh, once you've mode changed. Ah, he hit us. Yeah, so we lost that extra speed, and he's gonna do uh, his laser attack again. But we can, we still, we can deal with this. Very nice, very nice. All right, just do your charge attack, please, if you wouldn't mind. Hmm. Did he do it, and we just, uh, and just, and I just miss it or something? I wonder. Because, yeah, we don't have, we don't seem to have a lot of camera control in this fight. We're running, we're running a long time here, too. Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so basically, if you get him to cancel, he won't actually do his charge. Yeah, four seconds left. We took down, uh, we took down Beta. Mission complete. And that's all the, uh, that's all the, uh, all of our brothers still under Eggman's control. And he very unceremoniously flops to the ground. Still got some fight in him left. Ah, uh, but not, not enough to, to put up all that much of a fight. But, the bird is free. Our brother is free. And it seems that our mission is complete. To a degree. But of course. There's more to it than that. Because if you'll remember, there's one more bird. One more bird. Thus ends Gamma's story.
But in letting his story end, he lets another continue. Game finished? Not quite yet. There is a little bit more to go after this. Yeah, one more left. But yeah, that is the end of uh, of Gamma's story. But yeah, it's a it's a nice little. Uh, it's surprisingly surprisingly emotional for uh, this game. I won't say it's like you know, it's not it's not uh, a classical Greek tragedy or anything like that. But uh, it's got more to it than uh, more to it than you sort of would expect out of this game. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna take a sip real quick. Yeah, it's definitely uh, been heating up here in the Northern Hemisphere, what with summer happening and all. Or, well, not summer. It's not summer yet, you know, spring, with spring happening. But, uh, yeah, it's like, I think what? It's like 80-ish degrees around that, where I am these days a lot of the time, which is already too hot for me. I don't like that. <laughs> I probably, I'd probably live further north if I, if I had the choice. But uh, I don't have the choice right now. Um, I, don't know, I guess I could, in theory. But uh, you know, my uh, my living situation would uh, I don't know. It'd be it'd be it'd be a lot of hassle to to move far away. But yeah, but yeah, it's quite warm. Uh, my point is, <laughs> it's quite warm. So uh, so stay hydrated. I forgot to, uh, I forgot my my water when I was out uh, out and about uh, earlier today, so I had to like spend like a couple hours or like uh yeah about a couple hours driving around, no water in my car. I had the air conditioning at least. The uh, I'm really glad that the uh, AC in my car works because it used to not work, but then it started working again for no obvious reason. But uh, I'm glad that it does work now. But uh, but yeah. So I had the AC, but, uh, you know, still had to be, uh, getting out of my car a lot for, uh, for, for, for my business, the business that I do. So, uh, yeah, I had to, uh, had to deal with the, uh, the spring heat quite a bit. Cause yeah, I guess we, we are coming, we are coming right up to, uh, to, uh, summer, aren't we? Cause yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be summer next month, right? Because, yeah, I know it's not like, uh, uh, but yeah, it doesn't turn summer, like, on the turn of the month. But I know it, uh, sounds like Phoenix. Uh, no, actually, I'm, uh, I'm in the, uh, I'm in the Midwest. Uh, I'm in the Midwest. I'm not, uh, in Arizona. But, uh, but yeah. It's been, uh, I've never, I've never been that I've never been that, uh, I was going to say I've never been that far west. I've been further west than there, actually. Yeah, I mean, it gets hot there. Ah, gotcha. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I've never been, uh, I've never been to the southwest, I suppose. I've been to the Pacific Northwest. Um, I don't remember what season I visited in, though. But yeah, I know it gets, uh, it gets really hot, uh, over in, uh, Arizona and whatnot. Yeah, definitely compared to uh, to here, it's or compared to there, it's really not that bad here. Uh, yeah, I really couldn't live in uh, <laughs> I really couldn't live in like in uh, Arizona, I don't think. Because yeah, I lived in uh, I lived in Florida for a while, and that was that was way too hot for me, even with uh, the ocean and all that being sort of uh, cooling in that way. But yeah, yeah. So as I was saying. Uh, since we've beaten the character story as all of the main characters, we have one more, uh, we have one more, uh, challenge to overcome before the, the game is over. Yeah, I had some family there and big oof, mega heat, had to stay inside. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I first came to Florida, the first time that I, that I went to Florida, uh, I, I, uh, I got off the plane, uh, in the middle of, like, August like a uh, mid August, like the mid August heat in like, uh, in, uh, Orlando. I forgot where, <laughs> I forgot where I landed for a second in, uh, Orlando 
was the first experience that I had of Florida. And it was, it was, it was challenging. My whole, the whole time that I spent there was pretty challenging in a number of ways. But uh, the heat was chief among them. And so, yeah. Gamma has, gave, Gamma did the, did, did what he loved most, I suppose. Set, set other people free. So yes, we've got one more, one more to go. A special little, uh, Select adventure character. here. We're gonna play a supersonic. Hmm. Time for the real final boss. Big is a pretty good pilot, huh? To uh, have flown the Tornado to an experimental plane that he's never touched before or even seen before, all the way to like feet away from his home without causing any significant harm to himself or to his home or anything like that. Yeah, one thing I'm going to say about my location is that I don't live in America. Huh. All right. Can't foil your master plan. And I love, I love Eggman's voice in this game. I don't remember, I don't remember if, um, the voice of Eggman in this is the same, is the same as in, uh, as currently. The Master Emerald is where it belongs. But Angel Island is still falling. This doesn't make any sense. Maybe... Those Chaos Emeralds that I brought back with me have something yeah, to do with what's look happening. Like, almost look like balls or purple sand. I'll take them to hmm. Sonic for his advice. Man, I like the... I find it really funny, the idea of going to Sonic for advice about basically anything. I don't know, I don't know why I find that so funny. This is terrible! Chaos is... Uh-oh. Is what? Up to his usual troublemaking shenanigans, I suppose, is what he is. And there's Sonic just chilling, not seemingly not having reacted at all to the to the yeah, fall of Angel Island again. Yep. And maybe I'll take another vacation somewhere. Sonic! Hey there, Tails. Did you find the tornado too? Never mind that. Get up and follow me. Angel Island is falling again. Ah, okay. Hey, so no this way. is set while we'll it's falling. Time. Okay, so that, I guess that, that, that explains why he hasn't reacted to Angel Island falling. It hasn't fallen yet. So I suppose we should probably head over to the direction of Angel Island, huh? Got a little hitch there. Interesting. Oh, actually. Since we can't, we might as well, uh... We'll go save that egg that I uh, attempted to save as uh, Gamma. Ah, uh, and actually, is it still over here? No. Well, actually, hmm. Um, oh, I, I think I bugged the egg. I think I bugged the egg out of existence. Because it's not there, and it ain't there. So, um, oh, no, there's, there's the egg. I just didn't see it, I guess. Oh, I was worried that I had, uh, banished the egg from this plane of existence. Yeah, we're going to take this over to the child garden. 
see, I guess I could I could go over the Chow Garden in this game. But I think if I'm gonna do any Chow Garden stuff, I'll probably do it in if I play Sonic Adventure 2 down the line. Kinda make your PC faster. Put Sonic in it. <laughs> Me who can't fit Sonic in my PC. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, oh that reminds me. I uh I have a friend who uh, who I who I offered to help uh, build a PC, and uh, I've I've i known for a little bit that uh, you know GPU prices have been really high recently, but uh, you know I haven't needed to uh, upgrade my computer because I only just built it like uh, last year, um, back when prices were a little bit normal. Oh wait, I need to go I need to go to Angel Island, don't I? But uh, you know I built it last year when prices were were more normal. I think they were still, uh, they were climbing about the time that I bought it, but, uh, you know, they hadn't reached the heights that they had today, and, uh, you know, I've got, like, a, uh, an RTX, like, 2060-something, some, some variation on that card, some variation on that card, and it's, like, um, yeah, I got it for, like, $300 or so, I think, during the, uh, back, 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 way back then, uh, when I bought it. See, where's where's Knuckles? Well, he's not here. Interesting. Ah, oh, there they are. Sonic, uh, sorry. Knuckles and Eggman, what happened here? He stole my Chaos Emeralds, and Chaos is still alive. Yeah, those are like what? yeah, two. To Oh yeah, 2.5 to 4 times the price now. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna... Not gonna get away with this. Yeah. But yeah, those, uh, I was gonna say that, yeah. Like, I was looking at the, uh, the prices so I could, like, help, uh, help my friend pick out some parts. Chaos is a fearsome beast. Take a quick sip. that last Chaos Emerald, we're done for. But yeah, I was no looking at, uh... We'll get on it. I was looking Tails? at prices. Right! And I what? found, uh, yeah. Like, uh, the, the oh, same geez. piece that I, the same GPU that I purchased for, like, $300, uh, this place. not even a year ago, because it, it was back in, uh, August. It's not like, a dream after all. Yeah, just, like, just, just, uh, under a year ago. The same, the same piece that I brought, bought just under a year ago is, like, yeah, like, I saw a listing for it at, like, a thousand dollars, which is almost as much as I paid for my entire PC. Including the monitor and case. I won't obey. We need those seven emeralds to give us total power. It's power for the people. And they are your people too, you know. We must get that emerald. Green no emerald for you. Enemy. Once it starts, you will always want more. Please don't do this. I beg you. Bah! I don't listen to the words of a child. Ready men, charge! And all this, all this is upsetting someone, isn't it? Someone who can do something about all this, and will. Yeah, buying a pre-built is, is cheaper than buying the GPU inside of it. I know, I know. It's wild. Yeah, I was gonna, I was going to talk to him. It is a monster. But yeah, I was gonna <clears throat> get together with that friend of mine earlier today, but uh, yeah, he was uh, he was busy. Hey, are you all right? Uh, I think so. But uh, definitely, definitely, we're gonna. Oh my gosh! He's just gonna have to buy a uh, pre-built if he wants a new computer soon. Wait up! That was a sh awfully short cutscene. Oops. All right, let's uh, let's try that again. We gotta get a good dramatic shot of Sonic uh, Sonic running. But um. The seven emeralds are the servers. Chaos is power enriched by the heart. The controller serves to unify the chaos. 
What was I gonna say? Hmm. The seven emeralds can change our thoughts into power. If this emerald controls that power, please, you must stop him. Sonic! Yeah. Wake up! Not going to lie, my, my PC has better power per dollar than yours. Uh, yeah. That's <laughs> honestly, that's probably cruise, I, I don't know. That might be that. That could very well be true, because uh, because yeah, again, I did. You yeah, I I got a uh, still pretty trash. Mm. Already. Come but yeah, mine go mine mine performs general. pretty well. It performs pretty uh, well. Lead the way. Like I said, it's, it's got a it was free. Too. Okay, you know, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, if your if your computer can run anything and uh, it was free. Then uh, it does have better performance per dollar than a computer that costs. Oh, no. any computer that costs uh, anything. All right, we'll call that. <laughs> we won't say that that was a a gaff, a, f uh, a failure on my part. We'll call that uh, a speed running tactic to get back to uh, Station Square faster. Alright. Oh, there's an emblem up there. I don't know that I can reach it as Sonic, but, uh... I suppose we'll give it a try real quick. Actually, what, uh, what do the train folks have to say right now? Oops, pardon me. Thanks for coming. As always, service with a smile. Uh, apparently nothing, nothing too notable has happened yet. Today, like always, I'm heading to work. Oh, sure. Work, work, work. You seem, uh, enthusiastic, I guess. Oh, yeah, really, not not much is going on right now, huh? I kind of expected, uh, my wonderful building will last forever. Hmm? You might want to wait, uh, and, and, uh, wait to say that for just a little bit here. Alright. How do I... Alright. I need to go around here, I believe. Pick this up. Take it in here. And exchange it for this egg. Which is now gyrating wildly. But it's free now. Yes, I thought I thought that I had picked up this egg before, but I guess I just thought about it and then uh, just never did it. Yes, yeah, so we'll set this egg free, and then we will, uh, oops, wrong elevator. We'll set this egg free, and then we will go on with our adventure. We will finish up, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The camera is a physical object that can move things around. That's fun. Because, yeah, this egg's definitely getting pulled by the camera. Huh. I wonder why that is. Why does the camera have collision? Well, actually, it's probably to, uh, it probably has collision because, um, they probably implemented collision on it to, uh, to make it easier to tell when it would be, like, uh, intersecting with an object. Like, uh, you know, if you try to get it to, uh, clip into a wall or something. Uh, where am I going, actually? The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Hmm. Maybe I wasn't supposed to leave the Mystic Ruins yet. I was not. I was not paying very much attention during that cutscene, <laughs> to be totally honest with you. Because yeah, there's nothing going on in Station Square. At least nothing. Nothing out of the usual going on in Station Square. Burger Man's still where where he belongs. So all is well. So yeah, I guess we need to go back to Mystic Ruins then. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Yeah, I really, I was, I was kind of, um, yeah, when I was making my first games, I had a few camera bugs. One of them was the camera had gravity and was connected to the object character, and always threw my character on their back slash side. Oh yeah, 
That's un... Yeah. Yeah, I've never... I've worked a little bit uh, in uh, in game development, but I I I worked always as a as an artist. Basically, uh, I did very I've done very little programming in games. So, uh, see, so yeah, I I know how difficult it can be to uh, to program uh, things to program things, and uh, that's part of the reason why I don't. <laughs> but uh, but yes, you. Uh, to, to you and everyone else out there who, uh, who, who has programmed games or does program games, uh, you have my utmost respect. Alright, where, where did Tails say to go? <laughs> maybe... Maybe my accidental um, sequence break, like... Oh no, okay. Not sequence break, but my accidental yeah. skip. So let's get the chaos emerald and leave. My accidental skip. I thought. I think I'm. I thought I had maybe. What? Oh. Uh oh. No, he's got the last emerald. Now what do we do? Well, now we gotta fight him. Oh, here's the uh, here's the intro again. Yeah, we started the uh, the first the first stream with the intro. Not immediately, I guess, but uh, started it with the intro, and now we're gonna we're gonna not quite finish, but uh, we're gonna play it again, just in time for the ending. Things are going a little bit haywire over in Station Square now. Ah, look at this glorious. Late 90s pre rendered footage. Pre rendered CGI footage. Chaos has uh, indeed brought chaos to uh, Station Square here. And we certainly can't let that stand. Not at all. No matter how big and fish-like he becomes. Yeah. Which emoji quality can be can can truly be different quality. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh There's chaos. Yeah, bro, those are some good graphics even for if now. Yeah, they're not too bad. They're not too bad. Monster is a real menace. This this music feels a little bit unfitting for the for the moment, but um, Eggman. yeah, it wasn't too bad. But uh, I was mostly just talking about the uh, the resolution. The resolution's pretty low. Yeah, for the cutscene, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was just a uh, just a little bit uh, low resolution. Yeah, I like that Eggman had the had the resources and the wherewithal to build a second egg carrier, just for the purposes of destroying chaos if he if he needed to. It didn't work, <laughs> so maybe he cheaped out on this egg carrier a little bit. But you know. <laughs> He still he still had it, I suppose. Yeah, I don't even know what I was trying to say when I said yush. Hmm. I don't know, it felt like an, an affirmation to me. Tikal. I think this is the first time we're or no, this isn't the first time we're hearing her name, because she introduced herself to uh Tails, I think. Yeah, now we get now proper confirmation that the uh, little spirit and, and uh, Tikal are one. He'll eventually destroy the world like he did before. Oh no. And there he is, scattering the, the Chaos Emeralds. Oh no. 
How can that help? It won't change how he feels inside, will it? His heart will still remain in turmoil, and his anger just won't vanish. He'll just be trapped forever. Maybe maybe Sonic is a good source of advice. That's pretty that's pretty profound, I suppose. Oh hey, big. Yeah, I think I've seen this this spirit in the Sonic Race Ultimate Race hey, map. Or it might have also been the Hydra. I think it was the Hydra. Hmm. Here, take this. All right, we got all these. We've got several Chaos Emeralds. They're not, you hey, know, guys, what's up? particularly strong, but we do Chaos have them. Chaos only used the negative power of the emeralds. Apparently, the so negative power of the emeralds provides them with the uh, with the color. As much as I hate to admit it. I think Tails is right about this. Knuckles, you were just gonna go for to Sonic for go advice. Why are you why are you not yes, Why are you not trusting him now? Sonic! 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 Alright, here we go. Yeah, chaos is is power transformed by the heart, or uh, however the um, however that little poem went. And now we are supersonic. It is it is it is it is kind of nice how the uh, the people of the city trust Sonic so much that they're cheering out uh, cheering out uh, his name. Even though uh, they don't necessarily know where he is or what he's doing, I guess I don't think at this point, because like, unless Tails and Knuckles and them like went around uh, talking about what they were planning to do here, I think all these people were just thinking, you know what? There's a big, there's a whole lot going on here, but Sonic will definitely save us. So yeah, they definitely, they're definitely confident in Sonic. Yeah, one interesting thing about Perfect Chaos here is the fact that he doesn't have any bones. Because, yeah, all the other Chaos forms uh, got more bones as they uh, as they uh, acquired more Chaos Emeralds. But Perfect Chaos, much like his, his initial state, simply does not have any bones. He was relying on the bones to become stronger, but now that he has reached his, the peak of his strength, he no longer needs them. Yeah, we get a reprise of the main theme. Oh, and is that it? Oh, wow. Wow, that... <laughs> oh, back when I played this game for the first time, this this fight took me a long time. Oh. Oh, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Wonder when Shadow started to tolerate Sonic. I think... Probably in... S Actually, I don't... Hmm. I don't... I was gonna say, I was gonna say something, but I realized I don't know enough about the Sonic timeline to say with any confidence um, when anything happened in relation to any of the games, unfortunately. Yeah, so I think this, this is probably what I was thinking about when I was remembering that this took, uh, took a lot longer. Because now he's doing more attacks, and uh, they actually uh, were stopping me there. But yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember which Sonic game takes place like immediately after Sonic Adventure 2 in the uh, timeline. I don't remember if it's it's either. I'm pretty sure it's either Heroes or Shadow the Hedgehog. And I think you know, and whichever one is was after Sonic Adventure 2 is where uh, Shadow started to uh, to be more okay with Sonic. Oh, that, that uh, I was gonna say, I, I saw a little, uh, a little, little uh, building with a clock on it in the background, which reminds me, yeah, this building, I think that's part of, like, uh, Radical Highway, isn't it? I think. But yeah, I've, to be honest, I've not played very many, I don't know, I've played about, probably around half, maybe, of, oh dear, is there something I can, like, do to, like, 
stop getting knocked back by that attack? <laughs> or or do I just have to... Uh... Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this. All right. All right, we got out of that little loop there. Gotta dodge these tornadoes. Oh, or we can not dodge the tornadoes. And we can uh, run out of time, unfortunately, and uh, not be able to uh, defeat uh, Perfect Chaos. When you reach maximum speed, you'll turn into a bolt of lightning. That's your chance to attack Chaos. Hmm. All right. So yeah, let's try not to uh, get hit by that, uh, stun locked by that attack there. Cause yeah, actually, oh, this is taking us all the way back to um, the first phase of the Chaos fight, I think. Mm. But yeah, like that building with the, uh, the clock tower on, I think that, I think that's a uh, set piece. Or I think, it looks like it's based on a set piece that I seem to remember from... Uh, Speed or Radical Highway, or no, Speed Highway, because Radical Highway is from the first, from Adventure 2. Yeah, it would be Speed Highway in this game. Yeah, so here's, uh, here's the, uh, the part, here's the, uh, time that I remember spending on this fight. Oh dear. So yeah, I guess... The way to get through this is basically just to go fast, basically. Yeah, if I can't go fast enough, then I can't uh, I can't uh, damage chaos properly. Uh, now we're in stage two, where we've really got to up the ante a little bit and uh, make sure that we're going quick uh, at all times so that we can not get absolutely bodied by his uh, repeated projectile attacks. Ah, well. Alright. So, failed step one. Uh, we, are, we, did, we were not going fast enough to avoid his repeated projectile attacks. Very unfortunate. He keeps knocking me off these... these... I don't... roads? I guess they are. Overpasses. Alright, none of the face buttons do anything except for jump. Which, uh, still lets me jump, uh, evidently. Alright, so this is, this is what I remember taking so much time, I think. Hmm. Yeah, there's... <laughs> it's really not, uh... Giving me a chance here. No. Very unfortunate. All right. So yeah, do not, <laughs> do not run into uh, into the barriers because that will uh, destroy my chances if I'm on the second phase. Oh, fortunately, it's not too bad in the first phase, I suppose. Oh. Ah. Well, maybe we can still make this work. Or not. Because, yeah, I can't really go back. Yeah, never run in a straight line. Yeah. Alright. I was more able to, uh, to go back here than I was there. But still, I probably can't uh, damage him at this point. Yeah, unfortunately, does it? Hmm. Okay, yeah, this does reset our position. I thought that much. There we go. So, yeah, so pick up some rings if we can. Um. There we go. All right, that was uh, that was a little bit worrisome. All right, there we go. So we're we're going fast. And there we can deal some good damage to Chaos. Alright, now we're cooking. Now we're now we're playing with gas. We're playing with gas? We, sh we shouldn't play with gas. Now we're cooking with gas. 
Now you're now you're playing with power. Things like that. Yeah, do not do not play with gas. It's very dangerous. All right. So we need rings and we need speed. Those are the two big things that uh, we were lacking in. Oh, oh, this might be this might be it for us. Unless, unless, aha. Yeah, a lot of America doesn't seem to get that motto. Yeah. All right, there we go. So now we're into stage two. This should be. We don't get uh, we don't get our allowance of rings back. <coughs> Yeah, take a sip. Very quick sip, apparently. We don't get our allowance of rings back, so I hope that they've respawned, because otherwise, mm, they have not respawned, it would seem. So, um, we're gonna have to be really quick about this. <laughs> quick, but careful. Because, uh, as noted, uh, if we mess up, then we can, <laughs> we can really mess things up. All right, so we can. Oh dear. Oh no. All right, that's that's that. No. Yeah, we can really uh, keep flying forwards quite a ways, can't we? All right, so let's try that again. And maybe we'll save some some rings for later. Or actually, it doesn't matter if we save rings for later, I guess, because we can't we can't take damage. It can only be slowed down, and uh, we'll just lose if we uh, run out of rings, basically. So really, it's for the best if we pick up as many rings as we can as quick as we can. Because uh, later, if we if we get slowed down and delayed, we might not have the chance to be able to pick up more rings if we keep getting comboed. And yeah, you can tell I'm taking this seriously because I'm I'm sitting up in my chair as opposed to uh, leaning back. Whoops. Uh oh. Uh, this is bad. Alright, it's not that bad, I guess. All right, there we go. There we go. Full speed, full power. Very nice. Alright, phase two. This is where we're proof where we prove that we that we have the true power of chaos. Oh dear. Well, this is unfortunate. Because, yeah, like, I can't really do a whole lot to influence my, uh... We recovered there pretty well, though, actually. Yeah, I was going to say, we can't... We don't have a whole lot of control over our speed after we get hit. Or we don't have a lot of control over our movement after we get hit. Because, uh, we can't... We build up speed, like, really slowly as supersonic. So, uh... So yeah, so that's why sort of you get caught in those like um, combos. Because yeah, once you lose speed, you uh, it becomes really hard to be able to uh, to dodge. Because like I can just go like completely laterally and still uh, and still uh, not be able to dodge these attacks. Yeah, so let's hope this enough. This is enough. Oh. Well, definitely not now. Hmm. Well, um, I'm not sure if we, I'm not sure if we got it this time, I don't think. Because yeah, he really, uh, he really doesn't let up. <laughs> First game over, unfortunate. We're not giving up just yet. We're not giving up at all. 
We're gonna beat Perfect Chaos, and we're going to, um... Man, we're not gonna save Station Square, I guess. It's a, it's a little bit late for that, I think. But, we're going to stop Station Square from getting substantially worse. We're gonna stop the rest of the world from getting substantially worse, I suppose. Because there's not... There's not a whole lot we can do for Station Square at this point, I don't think. Other than stop it from being completely destroyed, but all of these buildings, I'm sure, are not... Uh, they're gonna be condemned. Nobody can live with these anymore, I don't think. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It didn't work. The boost panel betrayed me. Alright, here we go, here we go. Oh, I was a little bit worried there. It looked like I wasn't getting enough speed. Alright, alright, alright. Pick up some more rings. Ah, didn't get didn't didn't get him this that time. Alright, I like yeah, didn't betray you, it went right in between you, aka it's avoiding you. Yeah, it's a it's afraid of supersonic's power, I guess. But I need the I need the cooperation of these panels, or else Station Square will be even well, again, it can't really get more destroyed. But or else the rest of the world will uh, suffer the same fate as Station Square, I should say. Alright, so this blue state. Well, I don't... Oh. Well, this is unfortunate. Yeah, so one thing... This game does a thing that a lot of older games do, where uh, where you're... When you're knocked back, at least in this state, um, the, the direction you're knocked back is determined by what direction you're facing, rather than what direction the impact came from. So yeah, so if you sort of turn around... Uh, yeah, when you're, I'm, I was trying to move backwards, so uh, when those were atta attacks were about to hit me, I turned towards them, so uh, it would push me backwards, as opposed to uh, knock me closer to chaos, which I didn't want there necessarily. But yeah, so we're in a bit of a pinch right now, so I'm not super confident. We're not doing too bad, but I'm not super confident. Come on, boost pads. I know you're afraid. I know you're afraid, but we, we gotta put that aside for now. Oh, these tornadoes really are really troublesome. Oh dear. Hmm, I really don't like this. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's one more hit. We got one, one hit left on Chaos. Two rings left. At least the time doesn't tick down during cutscenes like it did, uh... <laughs> Uh, when we were playing as uh, Gamma earlier. Ah, but even though we got rings, we still still weren't able to uh, reactivate Supersonic. When you reach maximum speed, you'll turn into a bolt of lightning. That's your chance to attack chaos. Yeah, I think that's what the, uh, the blue state that you go into is what the game is referring to when it says that. But I don't... You don't seem to be any, like, more resistant to chaos's attacks in this state. You're just... And, like, I've been able to hit him... Uh, just when I was just, you know, just below this in sort of with a yellow aura still. So I'm not quite sure, not quite sure what the game means by that. Because I'm pretty sure I can still get, like, knocked back and stuff during this. It's not like it gives me invincibility or anything, I don't think. Because, yeah, we got knocked back there, but I'm not sure if I turned yellow before that. No. I'm not sure if I turned yellow before that hit hit landed or anything like that. I, I lost enough speed. But yeah, yeah, I know, I know what I'm trying to do. But it's uh, it's just the uh, the issue is executing on it, I guess. But yeah, this just sort of guarantees uh, a successful hit, I suppose, if you make it to chaos. Whereas the others seem to be, uh, it can vary a little bit. And, uh, yeah, a lot of the time, if you don't have, uh, if you're not fully charged, if you're not full speed, then you really just, uh, will not hit chaos at all. 
Um, we missed those rings. Yeah, because there, there we were definitely blue. And we uh, still got hit and knocked back pretty bad. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I don't like this. Yeah, and part of the issue is just uh, when coming off of a boost panel, you uh, there's a brief window of time where you can't change your direction. <clears throat> so I guess I, I really need to account for that and like, if there's an attack coming for me that I wouldn't be able to dodge if I uh, if I went off the boost panel immediately, I guess I just need to uh, just not go off the boost panel immediately. I guess. Yeah, we gotta we gotta fight smarter and not just harder. Oh, uh oh. Good example of that there. Oh, oh dear. Oh man, if he could keep doing that laser attack, that'd be that'd be great. Because the mouth beam doesn't do a whole lot for me, or it doesn't do a whole lot to me. But the tornadoes? No, no, no. Absolutely not. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna we're gonna experience the opening bars of uh, "Open Your Heart," perhaps quite a bit <laughs> uh, during the course of this uh, before we're done here. All right, so I think I should have enough time to build up speed that I can make a successful attack even if I'm not uh, blue. All right, doing good, we're doing good. Not a lot of rings there. Hmm. Lost, lost quite a bit of time there, too. Hmm. Oh dear. So that's a, yeah, a good example of the sort of, the comboing. This is where it gets hard. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So this seems to always knock me back, just in general. And yeah, there's, yeah, at this point there's just nothing I can do, I don't think. Oh! Well, I might have spoken too soon, but... It's, too, it's a bit too late. No. So yeah, if this hits us, then we're basically dead. <laughs> There's almost no recovering from that unless I get hit at just the perfect place and the perfect time to hit perfect chaos. Oh dear. Ah, I think that attack might have di different properties uh, in the second phase there. Because I'm seeing he, he's still shooting beams here, but he's shooting different color beams. Yeah, if you if you get hit by that, you have to jump speed up for about 1.3 seconds, then jump. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I'll, yeah. It's like Minecraft. You can go you can go faster while running. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> All right. Let's take some time to gather up some more rings. Oh dear. All right, maybe we shouldn't have waited. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good, we're good. All right, there we go. That felt a little bit sketchy, but uh, jumping, but only when you start running. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, that, that hit felt a little bit sketchy, but uh, it still hit regardless, so uh, can't complain too much. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. All right, in the second phase, we've got quite a few rings, so we're in uh, we're in a better position than we've been in a lot of these. Uh, the start of our in the second in the start of the second phase, a lot of the time. Man, that sentence went all all over the place. <laughs> oh well. All right. You know, and I'm feeling I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. I got that positive chaos energy in me. We can do this. Oh. Oh dear. Uh. Okay, yeah, he's doing the beam attack again. He's doing the beam attack again. We can avoid that. That's easy. And the tornadoes... I guess the, the tornadoes aren't too bad, actually. It's just, uh, you know, when they start trapping you against the edges of buildings, uh, that it becomes a problem.
that sentence, Mr. Worldwide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that, yeah, that was unfortunate. Hmm. Hmm. We might be able to build up speed. No, this, this definitely isn't enough speed, I don't think. Oh, but we were very close. Very close. But yeah, I should have gone back there, I think. Well, we got another shot here. So, yeah, I guess I really shouldn't be doing that to, like, reset it. I was thinking, you know, maybe maybe it'd be good to just reset our position. But, um, you know, if we reset our position, we have to, you know, go back. We have to start from a lot further away. But we may not need to worry about that for much longer here if I can uh, pull through. He's definitely, uh, he's definitely angry. Yeah, very true. Mm. All right. So if we could just maintain, maintain our speed, we should be able to make it through this. And we should be able to land the final hit. All right, there we go. I think that's, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think that's perfect chaos down. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Yes, it is. <laughs> nice. All right, very good, very good. And very uh, on schedule, too. Very nice, yeah. All right, we've given, we've given Chaos uh, the chance to work out his feelings a little bit. And now he can be reunited with, the, with all of his, uh, his Chow friends. I'm still not sure why they use a different model for Chow in cutscenes than they do in in game, but you know, it is what it is. Chaos has changed again, this time for the better. Oh yeah. Yeah, Supersonic must have neutralized it, so it's nice again. I like how they talk about Dude, Supersonic like Chow he's a separate being to Sonic, who is standing right next to them. Or I guess Tails does. I take a quick sip. They stayed alive for generations and now live peacefully with humans. Oh, he also has his tail back. I, I didn't on. notice that. I've never noticed that before. And life goes on. Everyone happy, the city. Yeah, yeah, the city's in in a bit of a state, but you know we'll be we it, we can fix it, I guess. You know, it's definitely seen better days, but you know it may it may have seen worse days, and uh, hopefully it won't see days these bad again. And Big's back. And Amy's here, too. All's well that ends well, right? Yep. More or less. Sonic? I'm not sure where Sonic went there. I think it was supposed to look like he jumped on the roof of that other building, but, like, he's, he's, not, he's not on the roof of that other building. So... But yeah, Sonic Adventure. Gonna get a good stretch here. <sighs> Very nice. Very nice. All right. But yeah, so it's been it's been very good to to be able to play. Uh, it was just me. It looked like he hit the side of the building and just rolled down the whole thing. Honestly, yeah, it does. <laughs> it does look a bit like that. Yeah. Yeah, let me just adjust my microphone a little bit to uh, compensate for my adjusted posture.
There we go. But yeah, um... Oh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I was talking about, um... And I hate to talk over Open Your Heart, but... Yeah, I wanna... I wanna talk about this so that it's fresh in my mind and stuff. Uh, while it is still fresh in my mind. My thoughts and all that. Um, but yeah. It's good to be playing Sonic Adventure again. Um, I mentioned this over in my back in my uh, my first stream, Sonic Adventure DX. But yeah, this is the the very first video game that I ever beat, actually, back on the uh, on the GameCube. Uh, I remember one one Christmas, I just got like a whole bunch of Sonic games. Like I got Sonic Adventure. I got like and I got like the the two like Sonic uh, old Sonic game collections for Christmas one year uh, alongside my GameCube. Did not know that? Yeah. But yeah, so this is the, the very first game that I ever beat. And uh, yeah, I've definitely come a long way since then because I remember it being... It was still kind of challenging here. Uh, and yeah, like uh, for instance, the uh, the final boss of the uh, the normal Sonic story gave me a lot of a lot more trouble than I expected. But yeah, there were a lot of things that in the game that are that were a lot that were a lot easier than I remembered too. And uh, and yeah. And yeah, this this final boss was it was harder than I was expecting it to be coming back into it, but uh, but yeah, it's still a little bit uh, easier than I remember it being, which isn't a bad thing or anything. But yeah, so uh, so yeah, it's been really nice to uh, to come back to this game and uh, re-experience it after so long. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been it is it has been quite lovely, quite lovely. Uh, so yeah, so what, uh, what's, what's there to say? Uh, but yeah, this game was fun. I've enjoyed it quite a bit. I'm looking forward to, uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to be playing that. I'm probably, uh, but you know, I will be playing it at some point, somewhere down the line. Because Sonic Adventure 2, actually, I haven't beaten. Yeah, I used to, uh, I used to have both of them for GameCube. Uh, I was gonna, s I say that like I have either of them for GameCube anymore. I still have the case for Sonic Adventure DX, uh, for GameCube, but like the case is the case is empty. Like there's no game in it, and I just straight up don't have my case or my copy of Sonic Adventure 2 anymore, and I have no idea what happened to them. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where they ended up, but um, I think I have an idea. I think I think the 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 thing is I. I remember at one point I loaned uh, I loaned them to a friend uh, when I was living in Florida. Actually, I loaned I loaned them to a friend at one point, and uh, and uh, I moved. And I think I think I the the issue is just that I forgot to uh, to get them back from that person before I moved. So I think they probably still have them. I hope they still have them. Actually, I hope I hope they didn't lose them or something. But, um, but yeah, you know, I've got them on, on, uh, Steam now, so, you know, it's not, a. it'd be kind of nice to, to have them on GameCube again and all that, be able to play on the original hardware. And if I still had a game, a Game Boy, I could do the, uh, the Tiny Chow Garden in the, in these games again. If I, actually, if I had a Game Boy, and I, if I still had a Game Boy Advance, I should specify, if I still had a Game Boy Advanced, it would be cool if I got it back. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm not really in contact with that person anymore. And I guess I could, uh, I could, I could see about reaching out to them and saying, "Hey, uh, do you still have a copy of Sonic Adventure DX and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle? Because uh, if so, I'm I've been missing mine for for a long time here." But um, it's kind of funny. That's also how I acquired my copy of uh, of. Uh, uh, Super Mario Sunshine <laughs> is that I borrowed it from someone and then I moved and I forgot to get it back to them before I moved. Um, and I did, uh, I did some, like a, a couple of years later, I uh, noticed that, uh, I noticed that I had it <laughs> when it wasn't, uh, mine, when it didn't belong to me. And I, and I realized, oh, hey, I never gave this back to, uh, the person who it belonged to. So I, so them, I did still have I did I was still able to contact them, and I did call them and they were and they said you know you can keep it, which was very nice of them. But uh, yeah, it would be nice if I if I still had. Uh, 
you know, yeah, we'll keep it. We'll keep it up on the, on this screen here, and we'll just have uh, Sonic running while I talk. But um, where was I? Oh yeah, Sonic uh, or Super Mario Sunshine and all that. Yeah, it, it would be nice if I uh, if I sort of had the uh, original still. But um, but yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any way of uh, recording footage from my GameCube. Is the uh, is the uh, is the issue for me, you know, recording footage from my GameCube, basically. Because, uh, because, yeah. Like, uh, I can't record footage from my GameCube. Um, because, uh, because, yeah, it, ha it uses component cables, and my, uh, my capture card only, only accepts, uh, HDMI. Big sad. Yeah. Yeah, I want to play, I want to play, uh, Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, also. I want to play Thousand Year Door. I want to play Pokemon Channel. Actually, I don't know if I can play Pokemon Channel because I think the I think the like cartoons in it are like copy or like uh, adapter would be cool though. Yeah, I actually have the I have the Game Boy player for my GameCube, so I could actually if I could capture footage from my game if I could capture footage from my GameCube, then I could also play Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games and Game Boy Color games. Sip real quick. But yeah, I could play them on original hardware too, and that would be cool. Yeah, Paper Mario. I do. I do have the original Paper Mario. I have it on Virtual Console. I had it for the Virtual Console for the Wii, but then I transferred over to the Wii U, and the Wii U does have HDMI out, so I can play Paper Mario, the original Paper Mario, on stream sometime, and I probably will, to be honest with you. Uh, and since you know, H since I have the uh, Wii U, I can also play uh, Super Paper Mario, which uh, which I really liked. Super Paper Mario. I've owned all three of the the all of the first three Paper Mario games. What uh, a lot of people consider to be the only Paper Mario games, essentially. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have the first three Paper Mario, or I have. Yeah, I have. I don't have Super Paper Mario anymore. But uh, but yeah, of it's funny the uh, the the Paper Mario game that I enjoyed the most. And the only one that I've beaten is the only one that I still don't, that I don't still have today. Because, uh, when I was younger, um, yeah, when I was younger, actually, you know, yeah, I think we'll, we'll take it back to the studio, you know, that's where I wrap up things. And we're, we're probably not going to go, yeah, we don't have any reason to go much further here because we, we've beaten everything. I wanted to go and grab all the eggs before we, uh, before we finished. And I did that. Whoops. There we go. Back to the studio. But yeah, so where was I? Uh, Sonic Adventure, Paper Mario. Oh yeah. Yeah, Super Paper Mario. I beat it, and then, uh, like I was saying, when I was younger, usually when I beat a game, I would uh, trade it in for a trade-in credit at GameStop so I could get new games with it. And uh, it's a real shame, <laughs> because uh, essentially the result of that is the fact is that now... A lot of the games that I own, that I still own, are the games that I liked less playing. And, you know, it's not to say that any of them are bad. But it's just, you know, my favorite games, the games that I enjoyed the most, were the ones that I traded in. Uh, because I beat them. Because I liked them so much. And, uh, in trading them in, I, uh, have lost the ability to, uh, to continue playing them. So it's a, it's a tragic irony, really. So yeah. So actually, let's let me make sure that I have the all right. The BGM is on. Okay, we're good. But yeah, it's a it's a tragic irony there. But I have these I have these games that I that I love so much, or that I loved so much, and uh, I gave them up to play other games that I didn't enjoy as much because I never beat them and didn't trade them in. It is it's really rare that I beat games uh, on my own time. Honestly, one of the big drives for me to uh, to start streaming was just to give myself um, sort of external motivation to beat games, basically. Because I figure, you know, if I make if I make it a point to uh, to play games, you know, every you know, I'm going to play this game, you know, this much every every week, then uh, eventually I will I will have to beat it, basically. <laughs> and uh, so far, I've beaten two games on stream. In like what's it what's it been? I started streaming in March, in like uh, late March, and it's currently late April. 
So, or late May, <laughs> not late April. So it's been about two months. I don't remember when my first stream is, but yeah, we, we, we blitzed by at least my first month uh, of streaming without, uh, without really acknowledging it. And uh, now we might be coming up on my second month anniversary here. But, uh, but yeah, in, this, in these three months, I've beaten two games, which is not a lot of games um, in absolute terms. But it's much faster than I beat games um, than I beat games casually, where I've gone entire years without beating a single game, and not because you know I don't do this or I don't I don't not beat games because I'm not enjoying them. It's uh, it's sort of the opposite in that I have I've got like you know just pulling up my Steam page here, I've got like almost 400 games in my Steam library. <laughs> uh, I've got like 400 games in my Steam library. I've got, I've got 399 exactly. I've got 399 games in my Steam library. I've got like, I don't, I don't know, somewhere in the tens of like 3DS games and DS games. And I've got a bunch of Switch games and PS Vita games and I've got PS4 games and I've got GameCube games and Wii games and Wii U games and I've got Nintendo 64 games, and I've got Game Boy games, and I've got Game Boy Advance games. Actually, I don't have any Game Boy games. I have Game Boy Color games, but I don't have any Game Boy games. And I have Game Boy Advance games, and I've got I've got so many games that um, <laughs> I just sort of I pinball back and forth between different games a lot, and uh, I never really settle on any one game long enough to finish it for the most part. So yeah, so you know, sort of. Um, what I sort of did here was, you know, I started out my stream streaming with a, a game that I wanted to, to try out, but I'd never played. And now uh, I've streamed a game that I really loved, that I that I enjoyed a lot uh, when I was younger, and I enjoyed a lot now as well. Um, but yeah, I definitely I was expecting, you know, I you know most of uh, most of the time when people sort of look back on like Sonic Adventure, they think, oh, the the uh, the animations are janky. The, uh, the, the, uh, the models look weird and they do <laughs> a little bit, they do. And they are, you know, it's a little bit, uh, it shows its age. It shows its age a lot more than, uh, some other games because, uh, you know, like the, uh, a lot of, like in particular, the, the facial animation is pretty weird. There's a lot of like sort of, uh, movement physics on character models that like start and stop very abruptly and such like um and just sort of move in sort of an unnatural way but you know there's a lot of uh you can sort of feel the agedness of sonic adventure uh dx's like uh you can feel the you can feel the age on it more than you can with uh even a lot of sort of its contemporaries or even older games so um i like i said i'm i was a little bit surprised uh with how much i enjoyed playing sonic adventure again and uh, yeah, I hope I didn't give like sort of a, uh, you know, I was, I did a lot of, you know, commenting, sort of pointing out like people do, oh, look, this is this, this thing sort of like, uh, oh, look at this, listen to this bit of voice acting. That's kind of weird. Look at this bit of animation. That's kind of weird. And, uh, you know, I hope, I hope I never gave the impression that I was, you know, trying to make fun of the game because I really was, uh, I was really genuinely enjoying it. Like there was never, there was never a point where I was like, Wow, I can't, I can't believe I'm still playing this. I can't believe uh, that I'm, you know, I can't believe that we're, that, uh, you know, this is, this is what I enjoyed or anything like that. It was a, it was a very genuine, you know, it was a very genuine, genuinely enjoyable experience the whole way through. And uh, I'm glad that I, that I got the, the chance to share it again. Yeah, I know you already have a game plan, um, but uh, a game I really... But uh, I have a game I really want to watch you struggle and thrive in. Hmm. What would that be then? But yeah, I'm definitely I'm open to uh, to suggestions. Again, I will be playing uh, Nino Kuni. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you already acknowledge that uh, the, that I already have a plan. But um, but yeah, but yeah. If you have a, if you have a suggestion, I'm I'm definitely willing to hear it. But because uh, yeah, you know, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be. Uh, you know, no streamer is complete without their chat. So I want to, I want to listen to to everybody's, uh, everybody's, uh, input and all that. But yeah, uh, any form of Terraria to Fargo's mod for TML. 
Uh, terraria mod loader, right? Yeah, TML. Yeah, any form of any form of Terraria. Uh, to uh, yeah, Terraria could be fun. Terraria is a game that I that I put some time into, and uh, another game that uh, you know, a game that I've enjoyed but just uh, have never sat down and beat it. But yeah, and I'm trying to think. It's kind of hard for me to uh kind of hard for me to think of like games that I've beaten because I've beaten relatively so relatively few of the games that I own because like uh yeah I guess um I'm looking I you I have a uh like a list of the of the games that I that I own and have beaten and such and it's not uh current really I haven't updated it in a long time or I haven't kept it updated you know there's a lot of games missing from it but, uh, but yeah, um, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, uh, you know, according to this, this, uh, this, uh, list that I have and, uh, the statistics on it, yeah, I've beaten less than 20% of the games that I own. Yeah. Like, uh, pretty, pretty significantly under 20%, like about 17% of the games that I own. So, uh, so yeah, it can, it can be kind of hard at times to sort of conjure up uh, into my mind games that I have beaten. But, uh, but yeah. Um, but yeah, Terraria is a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun with playing Terraria on my own. I guess part of the, uh, part of the thing uh, with sort of the trouble that I've had, um, something with uh, the trouble that I've had uh, be getting, getting through Terraria, is uh, the fact that I've mostly sort of played it um, with various friends online, and uh, so so I sort of got used to playing it online with other people, and then uh, you know things would come up, we wouldn't be able to uh, to get together and all that, and eventually sort of we'd come get out of the habit of playing Terraria together. So uh, so yeah, so we'd you know we always be sort of losing progress and such, you know, because we'd have to you know. Whoever whoever was hosting the the uh, the file or whatever would have to would have to you know stop. Uh, maybe they they go on vacation for a while, or maybe we just uh, just don't get around to uh, to hang out with them for for a while. So uh, so you know we'd lose progress a lot, make make progress pretty slowly when we did make it. So yeah, I think yeah if I'm if I but if I'm playing you know if I'm playing it as for for the stream, I'd probably be playing it offline mostly or uh yeah single player mostly maybe i might have uh, i might have a guest or two on here or there and uh whatnot but yeah but yeah i can definitely see myself playing terraria uh not a, not uh exactly the same but uh, i also want to play i want to beat minecraft because minecraft is another game that i've had for a long time that i you know in the in a similar sort of vein i know i know uh people people are always like oh terraria is 2d minecraft and all that but yeah, they they really are pretty different um, in a lot of ways. Because yeah, Terraria is definitely more has more sort of a an uh, like an art like an RPG type of uh, progression almost to it. Whereas uh, Minecraft is is a lot more sandboxy, a lot more sort of uh, exploration and such in that sense. But yeah, Minecraft is another game that I'd I'd like to uh, I'd like to play. Um, but yeah, just to get the, uh, the opportunity to, uh, to go through it and, uh, just get to, get to literally the end, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, to be able to, uh, experience new content as it comes out to, um, yeah, they both support each other and in the splash text and open file name. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's always, it's always a little bit funny how, how there's a lot of people who sort of treat, um, oh, I like this game. I like this game, and this uh, this other game is similar to it in a lot of ways. So obviously they're trying to rip off my game, or they're or they're just the uh, the inferior the inferior ver version of of my of my better game. And so everyone everyone who who prefers that game, or e like or even just likes them as equally as much as each other, uh, must have bad taste. And I can't I certainly can't associate with them. No no no. But um. But yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely not uh, not that adversarial. 
between between games. You know, you can you can enjoy you can enjoy multiple games, even multiple quite similar games. There's nothing wrong with that. And uh, yeah, um, let's see, where was I? Uh, I guess you know I've sort of made my point on that. So yeah, I guess I'll talk a little bit. Um, I'm gonna take a sip real quick. <clears throat> but yeah, so I guess to uh, to sort of uh, I'll talk a little bit about the uh, the plans going forward. So yeah, so as you can see, I've sort of been uh, you know with uh, with this, I've been working a little bit on my uh, you know stream graphics. And uh, you know I'm gonna keep keep working on stream graphics, gonna keep uh, updating things, gonna keep improving things, and uh, yeah I'm gonna keep trying to uh, I'm gonna keep uh, practicing art you know in my in my time, so that I can uh, improve my skills and hopefully be able to render you know scenes like this and uh, potentially more um, you know faster and uh, more accurately because like you know I also I did my model. I drew my model, and uh, as you can see, it's definitely of a different. Uh, it's definitely of a pretty different caliber to uh, the rest of my assets. Not to uh, to speak down on myself too much, but uh, you know, you can tell there's a, a very big, uh, a pretty big difference. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, like you know, my model is something that took me like, yeah, I was working on that from December up up until like, yeah, December into March. Like I was still, I was still working on it um, a little bit, even like when I started streaming. I, I think I revised it a couple of times, uh, even then. So yeah, so like the model took like what would it, what would that have been? So December into March would have been like yeah, that was like about three months or so. Because yeah, I was like I started in mid December and I sort of finished it sort of like mid late March. So about about three months if I'm doing the math correctly. So yeah, so you know my model, my model is good. I'm not going to you know I don't want to uh, I don't want to talk down on myself. I want to you know I want to build up build myself up and build my confidence up and stuff. But um, yeah, my model it's uh, it's good. But uh, you know could uh, you know it's a it's simple. It's a simple design uh, in a lot of in a lot of ways. You know very simple shading, very simple blocky shading. Which you know, part of that I chose just because I like the I like the look a little bit, but part of it was you know I chose it because uh, I knew that would be pretty easy for me, relatively easy for me. Um, but yeah, so you know I learned a lot about character design, uh, making working on the model, and all that. Um, but yeah, but it did it did take me a long long time to uh, to get it done. And uh, that's that's kind of the the big trouble I have with art, in that you know if I if I draw quickly, you know I really can't capture, I can't really, um, it's really hard for me to to get things down, like uh, to to create uh, things that I can that I can feel confident in, and if I draw if I draw quickly, and then you know if I take if I really take my time, then you know it takes. Three three months to uh, to uh, draw, like uh, you know, to draw a isn't that just art in general? Yeah, but uh, more specifically, you know, there are people who could probably make a model as detailed or more detailed than mine within the space of a month, possibly within the space of like a week even, just because you know they have more uh, pardon me, more experience and stuff. And you know, I wanna, I wanna be, I wanna be, make sure that I'm, that I'm stressing that, like, you know, this is, it's a, it's a, it's an experience thing. It's just a, it's just a matter of there are people who have been doing art longer than me, and uh, just know, know more about art than me. Like, uh, you know, I don't ever wanna, I don't ever want anyone to think that they're just like bad at something because there are people who are better than them at it. Because, uh, you know, a lot of well, you know, most of the time when you see like an artist and they and they're able to uh, in like 30 minutes produce something that they call a sketch that looks better than the, the thing that you spent like a week or a month on that you consider your best work. That's because they've spent years and years and years and years and years and years like uh, working to uh, making 
you know, a lot of things that they that that uh, they probably think, oh, this, I can't believe I made this. Looking back on it, I can't believe I did this or that. Um, but yeah, just uh, experience. You know, that's that's one of the big things because, like, you know, sometimes there, you know, there is there is something to talent. Like, uh, you know, you can have sort of a temperament or whatnot that's more uh, suited for for certain tasks than others. Like, if you're if you're extremely patient. If you're just a patient person, then uh, you'll have an easier time with uh, things that require sort of uh, a sort of calm, you know, extended focus. Um, whereas if you're if you're not, then you might have trouble with those things. But you can still you can still get good by uh, by putting in practice. Because like you know we can like uh, if to to put it like simply like if your if your skill level is like one. If that's your skill level in whatever field you're in, one out of, let's say, I don't know, a million for like the very best that you could possibly ever be, that anyone could ever possibly be. Like, uh, you know, this, the jump from like one to two is like, you know, that person's twice as good as you and such. And, uh, you know, if you improve yourself, you'll, 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 uh, be twice as good. But, uh, but yeah, like, um, yeah, as, uh, yeah, like, uh, you know, the, the better you get, the uh, sort of smaller the increases in skill get. So it can, it can, it can get to, you can start to feel like you're, uh, you're not making progress as fast. When you're still like, you know, you're still going from like one to, you know, one skill level, one, one level to the next. But like, you know, the, the transition from one to two to just from having like no understanding of what you're doing to having just a little bit of understanding of what you're doing is huge. But like, you know, going from 50 to 51 isn't as noticeable. Going from like 1,000 to uh, 1,001 isn't as noticeable. But yeah, but, uh, you know, if you really, if you want to, uh, if you want to improve, then you gotta, you gotta keep improving, basically. If you want to be better, you've gotta, you've gotta put in the time to, uh, to keep, to keep growing and keep getting better. Um, so yeah. So, uh. Yeah, basically to get back to the uh, the point that I was making. Um, yeah, I the sort of biggest weakness I have in in terms of art is just in terms of speed. Like I need to, uh, I just need to uh, sort of, uh, or I feel like that's one of my biggest weaknesses because uh, you know speed is huge. Because if I can draw faster, then I can practice faster, basically. Because, because uh, yeah, the quicker the quicker I can draw, the quicker I can get out like you know practice sketches and finish drawings and be able to like look at them and critique. Okay, so I I can see this. I've got like I made this mistake and that mistake, and I and I and I realize you know this was this part was a lot harder. So I need to learn that. I need to be able to correct this and that. And uh, and yeah, so drawing speed is sort of the uh, my my what I feel is my biggest limiting factor here. Cause I never really did, um, I never like learned to like really doodle, <laughs> I guess. Cause like from a, from a pretty, from pretty early on into the time that I've spent drawing, I, I re I, I've known that I wanted to draw, you know, as part of like, I wanted to draw and design and create like visual stuff as sort of a, as a career. Yeah. I haven't heard the line speed is key in a while. Yeah. Yeah, speed speed is is so important. If you can fail faster, basically, because like practice is basically just failing so that you can know what not to do. Because like you can you can get all the all the theory in the world, but you like you need to have the experience and get you know know what it's like. I guess not know what it's like, but you need to uh, experience failure in order to be able to push past it, really. So, um, so yeah, so you need, if you can, if you can practice faster, then you can improve faster, basically. Not so fast that you, you know, get sloppy and develop bad habits, but, um, you know, if you practice faster, then you can, you can improve faster. Like, uh, one thing that, uh, like when I was learning, uh, piano, because I also learned uh, a little bit of piano in, in class, in, uh, in college. Visual stuff is cool, but when you're stuck at a, as a as a bus stop, always remember wait faster. Yes, <laughs> you 
Yeah, you gotta wait faster. Accelerate time around you. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, so like, uh, when I was learning piano in college, and uh, I have not practiced piano in like two years, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm super rusty at piano. Um, not that it's, no, super, I don't like, you know, I don't know, I haven't needed to play piano, I guess, so it's not an issue yet. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like, um, you know, one thing that like the textbook would say and my teacher would say was like, you know, if you're having trouble, like speed up, speed up the, if you're having trouble learning a song or learning a sequence of, uh, of notes or whatever, you know, do it faster, like try it a little bit faster. That way you can like, you know, get the, the mistakes out of the way faster and start developing that muscle memory faster. And then when you slow it down, it becomes easier. It's a lot easier because uh, you're not having to go as fast. It uh, suddenly it's like, uh, you know, it's like if you're playing a game on like two times speed, if you can, if you can do, if you can do, if you can do all right at two times speed, then you can probably do pretty good at one time speed, uh, if not very good at one time speed. But, uh, but yeah, so as I was saying, so I, I've always sort of known that I, or not necessarily always, but like for about as long as I've been drawing, I've known that I've wanted drawing to be one of the things that I do like as, as like my career, as my sort of life, uh, whatever, whatever I, whatever path I go down, whatever I do in life, I wanted to, you know, make visual art and design a part of it. So I, I sort of, I didn't quite like, you know, it, I didn't get a lot of formal training or anything, but I always sort of had this idea of like, I've always sort of had like ideas and I have, I've had very specific ideas and I've known, okay, this is what I want. This is, and I'm going to make sure that I, that I put that down on paper and I would, and I'd spend these long time, uh, pardon me, spend a long time sort of thinking about and then drawing a, a scene. But like, I never, but, uh, you know, I never sort of had that, that, uh, the experience of just sort of drawing, like, uh, taking, taking it easy while drawing, basically never, never really just drew to draw for a long time. And that's like, uh, it's, 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 uh, I apologize. I bumped the mic there, but, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of weird to say that as a, as an artist that I never really drew for the sake of drawing. But, uh, but yeah, I never, yeah, I just sort of, uh, you know, I, I would always, I'd come up with an idea and I'd execute it and, you know, at least, of course I didn't do very well at first. I can do a lot better now, but, uh, but yeah, so I, I just like, you know, would undergo these pretty like lengthy, and I should probably change the category now to just chatting because we, we are just talking right now and we have been for a little while. So I'll do that. Uh, uh, uh. Always gotta remember that. Gotta remember that. <clears throat> but yeah. So um essentially what I'm what I'm trying to say is i I have a lot of trouble like drawing things simply. Yeah, trying to multitask streams. Yeah. Uh but yeah. Um but yeah, I've I have a lot of trouble sort of breaking things down and like drawing things simply and all that and not you know, I don't draw super elaborately. But, you know, I, I, I have very little, I, I don't really have uh, much, much between like zero and a hundred. Like if I'm drawing, then I'm putting like all my focus into it. I'm planning out every, every stroke of the brush of the, uh, cause yeah, I do, I do digital art, uh, pretty much exclusively now, but uh, I'm planning out every single, like, uh, every single line that I put down and I'm like, you know, I'm re... <laughs> I'm like undoing and redoing and all that again and again and again until I get it just right. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I just need to, uh, part of it is I just need to relax and, uh, you know, let, let myself make mistakes. Cause like, you know, if, if you're trying to produce, you know, a commercial product, then, you know, that's where, or like something that you would sell, then that's where you want to like, you know, really focus in and make sure that it's really good. Whereas, you know, if I'm, if I'm trying to practice, then it's really not helping me to just, to just, uh, super get like really specific and micromanage all my actions, like super carefully. 
because that's just going to mean that I'm, you know, I'm losing out on, uh, you know, the opportunity to to really understand what's going wrong. I'm just like, oh, this doesn't seem right. Delete it. Try again. I'm not really, I'm not giving, I'm not giving myself the opportunity to really understand what's going on. I'm just uh, reacting to, to things as they happen. And uh, without, without taking the time to understand them. So yeah, so uh, essentially the, the, uh, the, the point that I'm making is, you know, I want to, I want to learn how to draw faster and stuff. Um, Cause yeah, like I want to, uh, I, eventually I want to start like a, uh, doing commissions and stuff uh, to get some some more uh, yeah, if this is the camera above the monitor and should your keyboard be in the table or does the table open up and take it in lore moment so yeah my keyboard or my my keyboard my uh, camera actually is not above the monitor my camera is uh, is uh, on a crate that is on the desk and then my monitor is also on the crate so there's your lore there but um, as for the keyboard not being on the desk, it, I just didn't want to draw it, basically. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that's the lore. I didn't want to draw the keyboard. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we, will, we will say that the, uh, the keyboard is, is underneath my desk in like one of those like, uh, you know, one of those like sort of uh, under desk little uh, cubbies. Yeah, there we go. That's the, that's, that's the lore moment. I've got a little cubby on my desk where I keep my keyboard and mouse and all that. And uh, so I can leave my uh, my actual desk space open for, for snacks. <laughs> there you go. There's the lore. Yeah, but this is supposed to be futuristic. I don't know though. A little nice. It's not supposed to be futuristic because I, I traveled back in time, remember? Because yeah, this is, this is, this is contemporary. I'm the futuristic one. The the environment is is perfectly normal though. Perfectly normal. Don't don't worry about the uh, the uh, portal. It's perfectly normal. It's a perfectly normal portal. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's actually one thing that I've been sort of thinking about. Like I I was thinking I wanted to go with a bit more of a futuristic aesthetic, but then I thought like, you know, uh, I'm not I'm not in the future. I'm in, I'm in the present. Probably seen weirder. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. But yeah, I am, you know, I'm, I'm in the present. I'm using present technology to, uh, to, uh, perform these streams, except, you know, the arm, which is future technology. But, uh, you know, and the mask, I guess. But, uh, you know, mostly, mostly present technology, other than the stuff that is on my person. But, uh, but yeah, let's see. But yeah, so as I was saying, so I want to, uh, you know, eventually, you know, I want to start drawing more. I want to start doing like commissions and stuff. And I would do commissions already, but like, uh, the, the, the main issue is just the fact that in order to produce, uh, art that is of a quality that I would feel comfortable charging people for, like, I would need to spend enough time that a reasonable, yeah, technology of the future. Make your hair into different shapes. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, the um, in order to make art that I would feel confident selling to people, I would have to take it would it would take so long for me to make uh, art. It would take so long for me to make the art that it would not be worth a fair price to the person, and uh, it would not be like a, you know if I if I charged based on the amount of time that I put into it then it wouldn't be fair to them because, you know, I have to spend a lot of time to make good quality artwork. But if I charged based on, you know, if I charge just a, a pretty normal rate based on, you know, just the quality of the artwork, then it wouldn't be fair to me because I spend so much, I would have to spend a lot of time on it. So yeah, so that's sort of where I'm at on that. Um, yeah, I don't know, I want to do, I want to do drawing streams. I want to do music streams. I want to do stream creative streams in general here and there so I can uh, you know you know not only you know be improving but also be uh, you know sharing that journey with everyone else um, so yeah I think so yeah I guess we'll, we'll talk a little bit about uh, Nino Kuni because because uh, yeah we're gonna play Nino Kuni pay you a total of zero dollars to draw a straight line 
All right. I'll draw you a straight line for zero dollars. Hold on. Let me uh, let me pull up uh, let me pull up Clip Studio Paint here. Clip Studio Paint, and we'll take it back to the screen here. Because yeah, I did have it set up for Clip Studio Paint at one point, and we'll see. Is it still set up properly? It would seem not. Oh wait, that's not Clip Studio Paint. Uh, hmm. All right, I might need to deliver on that straight line at a later date. I was, uh, oh, nope. Oh, here we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, straight line. Here we go. That's a very large brush. I don't need it that big. Boom, straight line. Oh, and it's not centered. Oh, dear. All right, I took perhaps a, a bit longer than uh, than was ideal to make that joke, but I still made the joke in the end. <laughs> so let's take it back to the studio. All right, so yeah, so Nino Kuni. We're going to play uh, Nino Kuni next. I have almost no experience with Nino Kuni. I watched, many years ago, I watched like two episodes of a Let's Play of Nino Kuni. So yeah, so again, we're going to be back into uh, to territory of like, uh, you know, pretty, I'm going to, you know, be wanting no spoilers and all that because, because uh, it's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a new game to me. Um, let's see. Yeah. Nino Kuni. Wow. So immaculate. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, I know, I know the title of the game and I know essentially that it's, there's a kid and I can't remember his name who I think wants to like save his mom's life or something or like bring her back to life I think maybe um I don't know we'll we'll find out we'll find out what the plot of Nino Kuni is when we play it on Friday but um but yeah so, yeah so pretty much no experience with the game um but yeah I'm definitely looking forward to it I was I definitely uh um yeah, I've been wanting to play a JRPG for a while, or just a just an RPG in general, really, because uh, RPGs are really are one of my favorite genres. Um, I really like RPGs. Um, RPGs because they are so long. They are they are a genre that I've historically had a whole lot of trouble beating. Um, a whole lot of trouble. Oh, you know, more so um, sort of gathering up the. Um, yeah, they take a long time. <laughs> So I get, uh, if I, if I get, uh, there, I have to go through a lot of the game in order for the game to, uh, you know, be done. So it gives me a lot of time to get distracted by something else, basically, is the issue. But, um, where was I? Oh yeah. So, uh, one, one sort of, uh, one sort of, uh, fun, fun, uh, little story about, uh, about uh for one note about um studio uh, or nino kuni is that uh um, you know studio studio ghibli uh helped helped uh work on uh nino kuni and uh i'm actually uh it's it's um <laughs> it feels weird to say this but uh studio ghibli films actually like spook me a little bit because i i watched um yeah should have the points feature like points for highlighted messages or something I would like to do that. Unfortunately, I do. In order to do points and such, you need to be a Twitch affiliate. And I am not an affiliate yet because I, I think, I don't know. I think I need, um, I don't know. I need a lot of things to be a Twitch affiliate, I'm pretty sure. But, um, but yeah, so, uh, so yeah, unfortunately, that is not something I am capable of right now. Yeah, I just need to, uh, I need to expand a little bit as a, uh, as a broadcaster in order to be able to do that. But yeah, so hopefully, you know, hopefully it won't take too long for me to get there. But, uh, but yeah. Yeah, I think, okay, so yeah, as a, to get to affiliate, I need, uh, how did we, we do it? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. They might be using some sort of, uh, different extension or something. Like three views per video. Hmm. I don't know. They might be using an extension or something. Because, um, 
Because, yeah, I think there's probably... Probably things you can do for that. To, uh, to sort of get a similar sort of experience. But, um, but yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not aware of, of, of that. I just, uh, I just thought that, uh, I only, I only know of the, uh, points that you get for being an affiliate and such. There are lots of Twitch extensions, yes. We should probably look into some more, some extensions. One thing I want to try is I want to, I want to get, like, um, I know there's an extension that you can, uh, apply that, uh, gives you, that lets you use, uh, closed captions. I want that on the, on my stream. Um, I want to, I want to, I want to be able to have, you know, it's sort of, you know, auto-generated captions, so, you know. They're kind of iffy here and there, but, uh, you know, the the option is there for people who, who might uh, benefit from it and all that. But, um, but yeah. But yeah, so back to, uh, to Studio, to talking about Studio Ghibli, um, is that, um, yeah, I watched, like, a long time ago, back, uh, back when I, uh, was just a lad in the future, um, I, uh, I, uh, I watched, uh, Spirited Away, and I was, I was deeply, deeply frightened by that film. Not, uh, as I feel like most people were. They were, I was not frightened by, uh, No Face. I found him to be quite cool, actually. Um, I was, I was absolutely terrified of the scene in which the, like, main character's parents get turned into pigs. That was absolutely horrible to, <laughs> horrifying to me, to, to witness. It was a really cool film. Yeah. I don't know. I've never... <laughs> I've never been able to finish it in one sitting. Um, I've actually... I have I have watched the entire movie. But I've, I have watched it sort of in... Like, I, I watched um, a chunk of it in sort of the middle that had, like, no face in it as my first experience with the movie. And then later on, I sort of... I watched, like, it from the beginning and I saw the pig scene... And, uh, and that freaked me out, and I wasn't able to watch much beyond that. And then, um, later on, then I sort of watched sort of... Actually, I don't know if I've... I've actually, I've never, I've never seen the end of, of, of uh, Spirited Away. Yeah, I've never seen the end of Spirited Away, now that I think about it. So, um, so yeah, I will... I don't know, I'll have to get around to that at some point. I'm even worse about watching movies than I am about playing games. Even though, you know, only takes like two hours to, to watch a movie, I still have a whole a lot of trouble sitting 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 still for that long. Um I it's much easier for me with video games because uh, you know, I'm actively uh I'm actively like doing things, you know. I'm uh, interacting with the game. But yeah, so Studio Ghibli, um I've had I've had, you know, historically just trouble it's been it's been difficult for me to even watch uh too afraid of the port of that ports to commit to commit jump to ah too afraid of of portal of that portal to commit jump scare <laughs> yeah do not if you don't if you don't think about the portal um it won't it won't hurt you don't worry just do not do not acknowledge it if you can if you can if you can uh <laughs> if you can do not acknowledge it it will it will only it will not harm you if you if you do not if you do not uh, acknowledge it. In fact, let me just uh, whoops. Don't move the desk. Move me. There we go. Oh, hold on. Also, I've got this nice little this fancy little ribbon on my hand on my arm. But yeah. So don't worry. Don't worry about the portal that doesn't exist because you don't. It's not there. Don't worry about it. But um. But yeah. So as I was saying, with Studio Ghibli films, um, I've had, I've I've not been able to to finish any of them <laughs> because of because of the uh, discomfort that I picked up from watching uh, Spirited Away. I imagine I probably could nowadays, but uh, but yeah, just uh, any time a Studio Ghibli film would, uh, every any time we would discuss, we would recover an old Studio Ghibli film from uh, from the ruins and whatnot. Um, we would, uh, I wouldn't be able to finish it. I wouldn't be able to finish it. So yeah, so, all that out of the way, I think now we should probably get on to our raid for, for tonight. So who, who shall we, who shall we pick? 
<laughs> there's several people. There's several people that I that I uh, am aware of that are online. But uh, if you've got any suggestions, uh, I'm definitely open to them. Yeah, definitely got some some interesting some interesting. Uh, you've got a lot of options that I'm interested in. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Wasami. All right. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. Let's see what Wasami is playing. Dead by Daylight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not going to be able to stick around for that because I'm very weak to horror. But I will, I will, I will give him a raid. I will give him a raid. I think. All right. Oops. All right. Where? All right. <laughs> Where's the option for for raids? There it is. There we are. All right. So we'll hop over to Wasami. And yeah. So. For our raid message, it is, as always, we have arrived. Oh wait, hold on, did I not, did I not start the raid? I think I didn't start the raid. <laughs> there we go. Oh, something went wrong. Um, all right, uh, let me just refresh here and we'll try to raid again. Oh, no, okay, okay, so, it, okay, it's saying that it's working now. We have arrived, yes. All right, so yeah, raid message is the same as usual, and I think we're, I don't, okay, oh, okay. So it should be, okay, it should be good. <laughs> so yeah, we have we have arrived as a raid message, um, and yeah, I suppose I'll sign off now. So thank you for, thank you for watching. Thank you for, for sticking with the stream. For, and thank you for, thank you for being here so much, uh, Lightning Spirit, it really means a lot. So yeah, very nice time, yeah. So yeah, and I had a nice time playing. Yeah, looking forward to uh, to uh, looking forward to to new adventures that will be going on in the future, and uh, and yeah, even even uh, over overcoming my uh, my fear of uh, of uh, of Studio Ghibli art uh, in uh, in uh, by playing uh, the game, the video game <laughs> that I was talking about. Have a good one, you too, Nino Kuni. Yeah, Nino Kuni. Of course, we're not playing that tomorrow. We're playing. Oh, I forgot to talk about the schedule, but you know. <laughs> so tomorrow, seven, Toho. Uh, I think the, I think the, okay, I think that, all right, we're good. <laughs> Have a nice night.